Gun violence is at a record high this year, with police investigating dozens of shooting events in just the last few weeks. But while officers focus on the investigation, there's another group serving victims and their families. Tonight, they were honored at a dinner hosted by the chief of police at an event to help raise funds for their important work. I had a 13-year-old boy that had absolutely no support. Um, all I could do is provide a teddy bear and say, you know, I'll see you at the preliminary inquiry because I have to interview and I have to conduct a criminal investigation. Police Chief Mark Saunders sharing a personal story from his days working homicide, where a young boy's mother had been killed by his father. Victims matter, and they can be forgotten really easy if there's not an entity that puts that at the forefront. Back then, Victim Services Toronto didn't exist. But now the nonprofit organization works alongside Toronto Police, helping link victims to available resources in the wake of tragedy. They'll need child care services. They'll need uh, attendant care services. We will liaise with embassies in terms of bringing visitors over. We will um, advocate with employers. We will help people. Um, there is a fund available that helps people with uh, funeral expenses. The annual Chiefs Gala serves as the flagship fundraising event for the 30-year-old charity. The organization only employs about 50 staff and is mostly volunteer run. Tonight's event at the Beanfield Centre, attended by the mayor and the premier, helps fund about 35% of the group's operating budget. And that is needed more than ever, considering the violent year it's been. We've had uh, a record number of, of shootings. It, it's been... Uh, it's been a very hard year for people of Toronto and, of course, for our staff and volunteers. But Victim Services doesn't just deal with gun violence. Large-scale incidents like the Young Street van attack and the Bruce MacArthur investigation put a strain on their resources. Then there are sex assaults, suicides and cases of domestic violence. I wanted to know how I could leave my relationship safely because I was really afraid. Caroline Marshall was connected with victim services after walking into a police station looking for help and leaving her abusive husband. It's more than just the instant, the, the, the time when something happens instantly, they're there af afterwards. And what I really appreciated was having the volunteers call me at least three or four times to say, are you okay? Is there anything else we can do to help you? Because of the wide range of incidents victim services supports, the chief says he recognizes their work will always be needed. Still, he says he's doing his part to deal with the growing violence in the city. Here we are, a city of three million people, and whether we like it or not, there are going to be victims every day. We'll never arrest our way out of this. Uh, working with partnerships, uh, we really will have that holistic solution.